Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm in a bit of a dark place at the moment folks. Check this out. I'm in a park here and to be quite honest I'm not that familiar with this park. It's called Kingscote Park and it's the barrier between the Leighton area of Blackpool and the Grange Park Estate which is the largest estate in Blackpool. If you can still call it an estate which is just over this way about a quarter of a mile that way. So I'm in Kingscote Park and I thought I'd start here just to, well, you can't see, you can't see a whole lot. It's absolutely freezing by the way. As you can see, I've got my uh, deer trapper hat on. And um, yeah, we've also got, I don't know if you can see this, but we've got a, a nice bright moon up there as well. So yeah, anyway, what I want to do in this video is I want to take you down a road, which I have touched on a few times before, but I want to take you all the way down Corn Street. Now, Corn Street is a, it's a, it's a bit of a funny road, really. It, it runs east and west, and it starts off just up here behind me. If you have a look there, it actually starts right there, just on the other side of that fence. So what I want to do, and the thing is, is that Corn Street, it's, it's a little bit dodgy, Corn Street, when you go a bit further down. This side of Corn Street, it's not too bad, but as you'll see. But I want to take you down there. And also what I want to do is I want to keep this video running. I'm not going to stop and start it like I do with most of the videos. I'm just going to keep this video running all the way down Corn Street, right into the town centre, and we'll see the changes along the way. You know, it's actually quite um, atmospheric in here, you know. Look at that there, that's packed ice on the, on the path there. Got to be careful, it's absolutely freezing. But it's all quiet here in Kingscote Park. We're not too far away from where the high-rise flats used to be. I'll show you where they used to be when we get a bit further up here. But uh, this road actually used to come down here. I, I believe it used to come down here in the olden days and eventually they built a park and they put this uh, fence up here which uh, stops anyone driving down here but this is where Corn Street begins at the eastern end and as you'll see when we come through here it, it looks actually quite respectable you know it's it's a decent looking street people keep the hedges nice and trimmed privets Quite nice looking houses. Look at the wall here, look. Nice, nice wall there with the coping stone. They get quite a few of those in Blackpool. Accrington Brick. That road there is called Heathway. Yeah, it's pretty quiet, folks. And as we look this way, oh, look at that. Oh, can you see the tower? Wow. That looks amazing. We've got Blackpool Tower. Can you just about, see, just about see it above that building down there? Wow, that looks amazing, but it's all quiet here on this street. It's a little bit hilly as well. I'm actually walking up a hill at the moment. We're in the Leighton area, FY3. This is the FY3 area. There's another way, there. there's another road called Birchway. They're all called ways. You know when I did the streets of San Fran Blackpool? We're actually not too far away from there. So it is quite hilly. This area here is called, I think it's called Little Leighton. It's a pretty old part of Blackpool by the way. I've actually done a walk down here, this road here, through Leighton. You might want to check it out. But we're going to be taking a walk all the way down here, Corn Street, into the town centre. And we'll see the differences. It, it changes pretty quickly, by the way, folks. So at the moment, we're not too bad. We're, it's, uh, it seems quite decent and quiet around here. That's looking down the road towards Leighton, the main road in Leighton. You head down there, takes you. Leighton's quite a nice area as well. Blackpool, oldest, old, one of the oldest parts of Blackpool. We've got 
a few takeaways in shops around here. On this corner, we've got a paint centre there, look, Johnston's Paints. Just over here, we've got... Uh, oh. Sorry, I just lost the camera then for a second. Just over here, we've got Firwood. Firwood Building supplies just over there and if in when the flats were up you'd have been able to see the high-rise flats somewhere just over there yeah they had five high-rise flats and they dominated the skyline around there you can call it Leighton flats or Queenstown flats and on this corner here with Beach Avenue that's Beach Avenue there coming up that way this is a, a garage we've got a garage here look Quite busy this. How much is it? One one thirty-seven point nine a litre. If you're interested, one forty-six point nine. For, why do we use a point nine? What's, I wish they'd just round it up. Anyway, we're now at the corner now with Beach Avenue, and yeah, just over there we've got a new housing estate work to built when they, uh, they knocked the flats down back in 2016 yeah so what we're looking at now straight over there would have been dominated by the massive high-rise flats they're long gone now got another little park here look at that there look got a few trees around it i'll tell you one thing as well as we head towards town, as we get closer to town, you'll notice that it gets a whole lot, or should I say, a lot less leafy. There's more concrete, less grass, less trees. And I believe that we're still in FY3. I think we're still in FY3, I'm not too sure. But as we head over the main road down here, which is called Devonshire Road, we then head into the FY1 postcode, which is... To be fair, it's the least desirable postcode in Blackpool. We've got a bit of a, an estate here, look. Old council houses. Probably got narrow roads as well. Quite narrow roads, yeah, typical of an estate. That's called Ascot Road. And if you look that way, again, looking that way, the skyline would have been dominated by the flats. They had a massive one called Walter Robinson Court. It's 22 storeys. It's about half the height of Blackpool Tower. Not quite so tidy gardens around this bit now. We're coming into... A slightly not so nice part of the street. Not not as nice as where we started off anyway. But when we get across this main road down here, it uh, it really does take a turn for the worst. I'm sensing less greenery already. I've just noticed that a lot of the for sale signs are damaged. It's like kids hitting the for sale. Does that go on where you are? Because around here in Blackpool, they seem to have competition to, to uh, vandalise the for sale signs. There's hardly a for sale sign that's uh, not got a big chunk whacked out of it. But we're just across the road from Devonshire Road School over there on the right hand side. So even though it's absolutely freezing, I'm actually quite warm. Yeah, all this walking. Quite a fancy beauticians on the corner. Getting close to Devonshire Road now. 
Here we are. It's got on that gate there, Corn Street. A lot of the alleys in Blackpool are, of course, or well, most of the alleyways are gated. It's to stop people dumping rubbish and things like that. You'll notice a lot of them in the central area. There's a lot of streets around there. I wonder what happened here. Look at that barrier there, look. What could have done that? Because we've got a barrier here for the road and that's all right. So how? I wonder if a car came through there and hit that. My goodness. Can you imagine? Wow. I wouldn't want to have been stood there. Anyway, we're now at Devonshire Road. I'm going to show you a cracking view of the tower in a minute. That's looking north, of course. We've got Farm Foods, Costa, KFC. They were all built in the last sort of 10 years or so after the flats came down. We've got a church on the corner here. Got a phone. Uh, well, let's have a little look, shall we? There was a phone. Uh, it's time to remove this payphone. Yeah, that might be a good idea. In fact, it looks like they did it ages ago. They need to remove the whole lot by the look of it. That church is called St Thomas Blackpool. And get ready for this, a fantastic view of the tower. One of the best views that you will see of Blackpool Tower down the street in Blackpool. Check this out, they've got a prayer, a prayer line. <laughs> oh my God. Is it like one of those 0898 numbers? Remember, that used to pay like £2 a minute back in the olden days, and that was when £2 was a lot of money. But anyway, we're now in the FY1 postcode. We're now into FY1. This church is massive, and it's got some really nice stained glass as well. Look at that. Wow. There's another part of it over here. Look, look at that. Wow. That is massive. Wow, this is St. Thomas Parish Centre. Oh, that view of the tower is absolutely awesome. Corner shop here. It does feel a little bit, yeah, not quite as safe around here. I'm not saying it's not safe, but there's a few shady looking characters around this part of town. I can see a house over the road that's got its windows boarded up. And it actually looks as though someone lives in it as well. Wow. I did do a video walking around this area. I probably showed it on the video as well. I'll put a link to that video at the end because this area here is known as the, the Talbot and Brunswick Ward and it's, it's a bit of a troubled area, to be honest. We're just coming up to the Victory Pub. Look at that there, that's your Victory Road. Look at that, oh my God. Can you imagine coming out of the pub absolutely leathered and walking over that? That is not what you want to do, is it? But I'll tell you what, the Victory Pub is a nice looking pub. It is a nice looking pub, that. It's a really nice looking pub. It just so happens to be in an area that's had problems quite a lot of problems since the lockdown the lockdown during the lockdown this area they had section is it section 30s you know the dispersal orders for kids over there is a massive like sports arena i believe i might be wrong but someone told me they're going to knock that down it's been a bit of a magnet for vandalism kids causing trouble they've had all that trouble here in the last few years since the, since the lockdown been a lot of trouble they've had to send mounted police in here to calm things down just head across the road yeah down there is is that Gorton Street I think there's a 
there are a few places around here that uh, social places around here and that's probably where some of the trouble came from come on the shop here corner bargains they always look really well lit don't they these uh, convenience stores but we're making our way have a look that's a sale sign or a, or is it a toilet no, I don't know it's for sale isn't it we're actually selling a property there and it's not been damaged wow got another convenience store here look a one stop you are not short on convenience stores I've just gone past a garden which has got loads of gnomes in it and oh <laughs> not my kind of uh, style that gnomes all, all sorts of all, all the really tacky garden furniture that you can you can possibly have this road here is called Elizabeth Street I might be wrong but I think the there's a, a sort of halfway house down there I might be wrong I'm not too sure there is definitely uh, there are establishments like that around here a bail hostel whatever you want to call it I'm gonna head back across the road We've got some shops on that side there Someone's just had some food delivered. Look at that. Whoa. It's a moon for you. So we're making our way down Corn Street towards the town centre. We're getting ever closer to Blackpool Tower. We're now at the junction with Buchanan Street and there's a shop on the corner. If anyone that used to be uh, an estate agent, Donald's, sales, rentals, management, that's been empty for years. Look at this, look, oh, look at that. More ice, folks. Oh, just up that way. Is there's a pub up there or a social club called the Talbot? Can you see it all lit up? That's looking up Buchanan Street. But I'm going to carry on. All quiet so far, no trouble. But it is, it's a little bit edgy, folks, around here. It is a little bit edgy around this part of town. Last time I was up here. I saw a big gang of roadmen on electric bikes. There were bloody loads of them, all dressed up in black. And they had balaclavas on and I think they were definitely up to no good. Look at that there. Blackpool Magicians Club. Check it out. Blackpool Magicians Club. Got a lettered agent on the corner called Move Homes. Have a little look. Let me see the prices. They actually sell. I thought they just let houses here, but they actually sell them as well. Pleasant Street. 13 Pleasant, 13 and 12. 185,000. I'll tell you what, there's some pretty big houses. I don't think these houses that they're selling here are in, are in this area. <laughs> Not with prices like that. Anyway, we're now up to Grosvenor Street. This is Grosvenor Street. That's looking up towards the Sainsbury's and the Talbot Gateway up that way. Now, just across the road on the opposite corner there, you see that, that property there? It's number 50. There was a murder happened there. Oh, when was it? It was a long time ago, 20, 20 years ago or so. Stephen Akin Murelli. Murdered his landlady, set the house on fire, set the flat on fire, murdered her. He also murdered four other people. He was a serial killer. Yeah, and he, he, uh, he set it, he's a bloody nutter. 
He killed two people on the Isle of Man and he also murdered two people up in, I think it was Bisbon or Cleveland's. And then he killed his landlady there. He lived there in that property there. And uh, yeah, serial killer. He actually took his own life on remand. Yeah. Oh, look, kitty, kitty, kitty. You know, I had someone on one of my last videos when I was going round. I was going round the Foxhall there, and there was a, there was a, a property all boarded up, and it, there was a there was a letter on it or a note saying there's a cat trapped inside, or there was a cat trapped inside, and loads of people put a message on saying, I want to know about the cat. How come we didn't? How come we didn't try to find the cat? <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, you'll never guess where we are now, folks. Well, we're just outside the Istanbul Barbers. There you go. Oh, look at that now, the tower. Look at that site now, Cookson Street. Yes. We're at Cookson Street. We're looking towards Natalie's. Natalie's sauna. It's open. It's always open. Oh, we know this bit quite well. This is the Stanley Buildings. This block here, the Stanley Buildings all tiled isn't it fancy but we're getting very close now to the end of corn street as we cross cookson street i can't help myself can i i just can't stay away from this part of blackpool just give you a quick look around oh look we do actually have some trees i've mentioned them many times before we've got a bunch of trees there ten thousand pound each they cost but anyway let's head down the final part of corn street it looks like there was a building over there, you know, on the corner. Just like an empty plot there. Can you see? I, d I don't remember there being a building there, but it just looks like they demolished something years and years ago, and this has been empty ever since. So we're just going past the other side of the Stanley buildings, and we've got records and relics. I think that their shops on the other side. We've got a big entrance way here with big massive steel gates. Look at this. Look at that. This used to be the golf centre, golf shop, back in the olden days. And just up here used to be an arcade where you could walk through to the other side. And, a, and they had toilets as well. And they had a basement as well. I think the toilets were downstairs. The arcade was somewhere around here. Somewhere around there. Anyway, I'll just quickly show you over the road. We've got sea cabs over there and Stewart's radio. Stewart's radio there, yeah. And on the corner there with South, uh, sorry, King Street, we've got another Turkish barber, yeah. They're absolutely everywhere, aren't they? Anyway, do you remember the toilets and the arcade that used to be here? And look at this here, look at these doorways. I've mentioned them before, Stanley Chambers, named after the building, Stanley Building. Look at that doorway there, look, look at that, wow. And they've actually filled in, it looks like, I don't know whether, they used to have grates here, grates all the way along here, but they've been filled in with tarmac. Yeah, anyway, we've made it, folks, we've made it to the end of Corn Street because it ends right here. And that was probably a bank. King's Square. This is King's Square here. That's the brew room over there. This was probably a bank, I believe, in the olden days. It looks like it. It, it uh, will have been a bank. What do you think, folks? There you go. St John's School over there. St John's. So there you go. We made it. I didn't have any trouble either. So that was a tour of the whole length of Corn Street, starting off at King's Coat Park and it actually looked pretty decent down there and what do you think let me know what you think in the comments but once you cross Devonshire Road and you come across this way it changes and not for the better yeah and it's had quite a lot of trouble as well in the past as well let me know what you think about that and I hope you liked the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one